हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई एम बैक विद वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन टुडे दिस क्वेश्चन वाज आज इन गूगल एंड वन ऑफ माय सब्सक्राइबर एंड वन ऑफ द नमस्ते एस कॉल स्टूडेंट एज वेल ही सेंट मी दिस क्वेश्चन सो ही गेव द गूगल इंटरव्यू लास्ट ईयर इफ यू सी ओके सो ही शेयर विद मी लास्ट वीक सो लेट सी हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व दिस so you are given a transaction table which records transaction between sellers and buyer the structure of the table is as follows transaction id customer id amount and date okay every successful transaction will have two row entries in the table with two different transaction ids but in ascending order sequence first one for the seller where their customer id will be registered and the second one for the buyer where their customer id will be registered right the amount and date time for both will however be the same okay so let me show you data how the data is and how to how to understand that data okay so this is my transaction table and what they are saying is that there will be two entries for each transaction first one for the seller and second one for the person who is buying it so if you see first two transaction right these are same transaction transaction id will be different they have mentioned so transaction id 1 2 but they have amount is same transaction date is same so this is the seller and this is the buyer first entry is for the seller right just read it again first one for the seller and the second one for the buyer so this is the seller and then buyer so let's write it down first is seller and then second is buyer so that we don't forget it okay so in this case this is seller this is buyer again seller buyer this is also one transaction transaction id will be different as mentioned in the question but the amount and transaction date is exactly same similarly for all of them so we have 18 rows which means nine overall transactions right so this is how the data is let's look at the question now so the question is write an sql to find the top 5 Seller by combination who have had maximum transactions between them, right? So we have to find the combination of seller and buyer who had the maximum transaction between them. Now this condition we will do it later. Let's solve for this and then we will come to this condition. Okay. So what we need to do? See, this is one seller by combination, right? One zero one two zero two. So there is one transaction between them. maybe there is another transaction between them for example this one 101201 this is also between these two seller and buyer right so we need to get this combination and for each combination of seller and buyer we need to check how many transactions are there right and based on that we can find the top 5 right so let's see how we can solve this great so there are multiple ways to solving it one is you can do a self join right in self join you can do join on amount and transaction date so that these two rows will join together but the problem is there can be another transaction right whose amount and transaction date can be exactly the same it is possible in the e-commerce market right on amazon.com every second lot of transactions are happening so there is a possibility that amount and transaction date might be same for two different transaction so we are not doing that what we are doing is we will make use of this sequence so they have clearly mentioned every successful transaction will have two row entries in the table with two different transaction id but in ascending order sequence right so it is always like this in ascending order first one will be seller then buyer seller buyer seller buyer and these are same transaction so we can make use of lead function right so let me just show you so what i am saying is select star from transactions right and i will say lead by the way second part is more tricky this condition is more tricky first one is easy so we will say lead and what i want i want customer id right comma lead by 1 i'll just explain you what i am doing order by transaction id in the ascending order as the what i am saying the first one is seller id so this is a seller so i can say select transaction id comma customer id and this i will take it as seller id i am just renaming it as seller id i'll just explain what i'm trying to do right and then amount amount 
and then tran date i don't need amount and tran date for the approach that i am using okay so let's do this and i will say so next i will take so 101 next is 201 so this will be so i am i am saying give me next customer id for this row give me next customer id right so this will be my buyer id okay and let's run it and see so transaction id okay great so let's run and see what we will get okay so if you see for the first transaction the seller id is 101 right because first row is always seller next is buyer so i am getting buyer id here so for tr this transaction seller id is this buyer id is this now this record is of no use right because this transaction is ending here whatever next we are getting here is of next transaction not related to this so we don't need this record again we need just this record for this record 102 is the seller id and 202 is the buyer id right so i just need odd records where transaction id is odd right and i have all the information in those records itself right what i'll do i'll say with cts this select seller id or let's do select star for now from ct right let me remove this for now we we have used it already okay so what we will do i'll say select a star from ct where transaction id mod 2 right so it will give me remainder when i divide by 2 what will be the remainder that that's what it will give me and i am saying it should be 1 which means it will give me odd number of transaction ids only 1 3 5 right even numbers i am not interested because i have got the information what i needed from the even numbers right so i have 1 3 5 and i have the seller id and buyer id seller id buyer id seller id buyer id right i have all the combinations now and i can simply now say select seller id comma buyer id comma count star as number of transactions right and group by seller id buyer id so this will solve the first problem statement okay so let's do order by as well so okay order by um number of transactions descending okay so i don't have much data to find top 5 as such but at this point if you want to find top 5 you can just say top 5 right no, not here sorry um you can say top 5 so it will give you top 5 but that's fine that we can do top 5 or top 3 is not a big deal the main thing thing was to get the number of transactions between seller and buyer okay so the maximum number of transactions are between 101 and 201 okay great let's move on and see the second thing so condition is please disqualify the sellers who have acted as buyers and also the buyers who have acted as sellers for this condition now we have to disqualify right there are some fraud you can say seller or buyer who are behaving as a both so there can be some seller who is behaving as a buyer or there can be a buyer who is behaving as a seller now the problem is we don't have a table as such which tells me that this is a buyer or a seller ideally i should have a customer table right in that i will have information okay 101 is a buyer right and if i see if he is behaving as a seller then i will disqualify him similarly i will have information of all the sellers and if they are behaving as buyer i will disqualify but they have not given any information the max i can do here is i can check which ids are there as seller id as well as buyer id so those are definitely fraud right because they have behaved as a seller as well as buyer so for example one zero one is here as seller and here he is a buyer so definitely he is a fraud right as per the whatever given data i have I, this is what i can do max right so for example another one is 
2003. So 2003 is there as a seller as well as buyer. So we have to completely remove these transactions. We have not just transactions, these combinations. So wherever 2003 is there, right, I need to get rid of those rows. So I need to get rid of those, this row and this row, right. Anywhere else also if 203 is there, I have to get rid of it. Similarly, 101, wherever 101 is there, 101 is here, I have to get rid of all those combinations. And after that, whatever combinations are remaining in that, we will find the top five. Okay, I hope this is clear. So for now, I will remove this and I will create one more CT. Uh, combinations as this. Let's say CT underscore combinations <coughs> as and I will just close this. Yeah. Now, what I will do, I need to find those IDs which are common in both the columns, right? So I can simply say select seller ID from CT combinations, right? And I will say intersect, right? Give me buyer ID from CT combinations. So this intersect will give me common IDs which are there in both the columns, right? So it will give me 101 as well as 203 or, or if anything else is there. So this will give me fraud customers kind of, right? So if I just run this, so this is giving me fraud customers. Let's call it as frauds, right? So let me rename just, and these are my fraud. This can be seller, buyer, we don't know. But anywhere these two are there, we need to get rid of them, right? So let me just note it down. 101, 203, right? And I will create another CT. We'll call it fraud customers as this. Okay, great. So let's query this again now. And then we will see how we can filter these. It is not easy straight away, but let's see select star we have all the information we just need to put some filters now right so let's run it okay so this is my all the combination and from this combination i need to check if this customer these two are there in any of the seller id column so i need to get rid of get rid of it also if they are part of buyer id then also i have to get rid of it so let's tackle one by one. So I will say select a star from CT combinations where seller ID not in select frauds from fraud customers. Right? Right? Also, and buyer ID. This will only take care of this column, wherever these two are there in the seller ID column. But we need to take care of these in the, if even if they are in the buyer ID column. So, and buyer ID not in this, right? Now, both will go, right? So, let me just run this one, only with one column, right? And if I run this, okay. So, if you see 101 and 203, right? There is no... 101 and 203 here, right? 101 and 203 are not there in my seller ID, but they are there here, right? In my buyer ID column, right? So I need to get rid of those as well, correct? So what I will do, I will say and buyer ID not in. Now after that, everything will be sorted, right? So if you see, this is the only transaction which is proper 102, 202. Let me show you the CT combinations again, right? Just to verify if everything is fine without any filter, right? So we had two, 101 and 203. So this, this one is gone because 101 is there, right? For this one, this one is gone because 101 is there. This one is gone because 203 is there, right? This one is gone again because 101 is there, right? He is a fraud. Again, if you see 102, 202, in this, this is fine. Both are there, both are fine. No one is fraud. Here again, there is a fraud, 
so all of the other transactions have filtered out only this one is remain right in actual data we may have more rows but in this we are getting only one row so this is how you have to solve this question right let me know in the comment section if you have a easy solution to solve this or a better solution uh, do like the videos you can get the create and inserts from the description box thanks for watching have a good day